Hello, everybody. Welcome to Telly Talks, where we talk about life, relationships, and all things in between. I have a very good friend of mine, seven foot six tall finesser, <laughs> Mr. Goofy himself. <laughs> Absolutely right. Mr. Goofy's back. <laughs> Mama do. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. So, for the people that don't know you, yeah. tell us your journey and how you got to where you are today. Okay, you know, just a young kid from Senegal, West Africa, came here when I was 16 and moved to Orange County and then played basketball there, high school and college, and then end up playing summer league for Warrior. After that, Detroit, a little bit go to uh, China and then play all around the U.S., you know, so now I'm here. So from Senegal to Orange County, that's a big change. Mm -hmm. Big difference. <laughs> how, how did you adapt from being in Senegal to Orange County? I mean, it was like a culture shock because, you know, of course, you know, boarding in Senegal, you know, basically all black, you know, and then end up some small town called Orange County, all white. It was just different, you know, and then end up going to high school. I was the only black man there. And that was very different, very different for me. But, you know, just learning and then things just changed, you know, it was a big shock. How did you adapt to it? Like, what did you, what did you do? Like, how did you make friends? Like, did they were like, oh my God, you're so tall. I want to be your friend. <laughs> exactly. For me, it was, thanks God, but it was very easy for me because that time everybody wanted to be my friend and things like that. And then I just want to tell everybody backed up and I just want to be by myself, things right. like that, you know, just have my quiet time, but it wasn't working well for me. Because always people want to be friends with me, come hang out, you know, knock on my door, things like that, yeah. And you just was like, I need peace and I need quiet. Exactly, but they won't let me have that. Right. So, yeah. hey, you play basketball, mm -hmm. you're 7'6". How is that, like, being taller than everybody pretty much on the court? No, it was different. It was basically making the game of basketball a little bit easier for me because, you know, like a lot of people say, I don't have to try a lot, you know. Right. Things it was kind of like come like natural to me, you know what I'm saying? But thanks to God, I mean, it's taking me like everywhere, you know, the basketball, awesome. you know, easy access, you know, helping me grow, traveling, meeting people, network, all those kind of stuff. And that bring me like where I am today. Absolutely. So yeah. basketball took you to where you are today, but you also have another passion. I do. You have charity. Yes. And let's talk about that. Yes. Okay. My passion has been, charity passion has been for a long time because I started when I was in high school, working with a couple of my friends, his name is Jamal Samson and Josh Childress. They both play in the NBA. They're very success guys, you know, been hanging out with them, I started doing charity, you know. After that, you know, I went to overseas play. I kind of a little bit lose connect, you know, doing that. So after I come back to U.S., I started doing the charity again, you know, working on a lot of charity, like called Bucket Over Bowling in Chicago, and there's some charity in New York City, and also helping Diana Pump, their charity too, yeah. as well. But, you know, and also I have my own charity too, as well. Yes. So yeah. let's talk about your charity, yeah. the Seven Six Foundation. Foundation, correct. Yeah. Seven Six Foundation is just like me, myself, my heart. Cause mean if I say Seven Six Foundation, mean it's not about just my heart. Seven Six, it's, it's about like inside. What is Seven Six Foundation? Mean like uh, we want to go to Seven Six country, help you know as much kids as we can, run like some basketball camp, giving like shoes or backpack and then whatever they need, basically, things like that. And also my passion is just wanna be like maybe high school in Senegal and then amazing. name it of my mom. That's, That's the plan. That's amazing. Yeah. And speaking of family, how is your family? Like how many brothers and sisters do you have? Like where are they at? Where is your family at? Okay, I have a big family. Like uh, I'm the youngest one on my family. I have a four brother, two sister. I have a three brothers, they live in France, one live in Senegal, and two my sister, they already married. So but there's they, eight of you guys? Yes, big family, yeah. But I'm the youngest one. I'm the, the little- The baby. The baby and the crazy one, wild, a little different. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else is chill? 
Is no. everyone tall too? No, they're not. I'm the, you know, love of God. Thanks to God, give me this high. Yeah, but do you ever like? I know people ask you all the time, "How tall are you? How tall are you?" Does yeah. that get annoying to you? I mean, sometimes, sometimes it does, but I kind of used to it. You know, let's say uh, first time I went to China, it was like a crazy, and then I have like maybe thousand people following me, and that was too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's one thing I don't really enjoy. Some country out there. Yeah. But here, like sometimes, if you get like overwhelming, I would rather just sit home, watch TV, like a Netflix, and just hang out by myself. But if I have the energy, I'm fine. It doesn't right. bother me. Right, because there's not one day I'm sure that no. you step outside the house and not one person ask you how tall you are. No, no, everywhere, every no matter day. what, <laughs> every day people are asking me, you know, how tall are you? You know, sometimes I just say why, but. I guess they just want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, I, I would be like, I'm tired of it, but it's almost like it comes with the territory. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I know. <laughs> it's almost like, hey, how, can I take a picture with you? Because you're just so tall. Yeah. You know, and I, like, I'm with a tall man too, but you're way taller than him. Absolutely. You know, so yeah. it's like, and even with him, like, I feel like when people ask, like, oh, how tall are you? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, he's not tall. I know someone that's really he's tall. tall. <laughs> I, I know, but usually, you know, end of the day, I just know people just want to know and curious, you know? Yeah. That's all, you know. The and you're such a nice spirit too where it's just like you're kind about it you don't ever show if you are irritated you never show it like no. you're always like chill good vibes good energy it's all about it's good yeah. vibe it's good energy you know that's only thing you know take you farther than, Absolutely. and then show you like who you are Absolutely. Yeah, so much. you have eight siblings you're the baby you're the yeah. only tall one only tall one i mean i can say maybe the one close to me a little bit tall maybe i can say Six, six or six, seven, something like that. But for me, it's like uh, not it's that not, tall. Yeah, it's, it's not nothing. that tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, were your parents tall? No, really. That's so crazy. I can tell my mom was five, six or five, five, something like that. My dad, six, six. Okay, so yeah. your dad was tall. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Not Which that. is not tall compared exactly. to you. Exactly. Like, no one's tall compared to you. <laughs> nah, not okay, really. Okay, so when you have time yeah. outside of the things that you do like you know through charity and all of that stuff what about dating 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 yeah dating are you single are you dating are you focused on charity are you focused on you know basketball like where are you at with the dating world the like, relationship uh, world okay dating one time for me is a little bit hard I mean, because I think uh, women like a quality time. Right. And I'm always gone. I'm barely here. You know, I, I move a lot. And then I'd rather, you know, focus, you know, everything I'm doing right now till, you know, till I really find, you know, someone. Absolutely. But, but for now, yes, I'm just going to keep everything casual you know yeah. nothing you know you're having a good time and exactly you're having, having a good, good time. time your birthday just <laughs> passed it's okay like you yeah. know it i feel like this relationships don't have to happen all the time not I've, everybody wants a relationship you know no, what i'm saying and no. sometimes you guys just gotta chill like you know sometimes you gotta chill exactly and do what you want to do for yourself you know exactly. i feel like relationships happen when you're fully fully fulfilled mm -hmm. with yourself yeah and then you can give someone else you know happiness absolutely you know? absolutely that's exactly you definitely said the perfect way and then that's about that's why i tell my lot of friends too same thing you know just focus yourself and take care of yourself and then find your happiness Exactly. You know, if you do that, you know, if you have everything like, I mean, you can have everything 100%, right. but just come to yourself like who you are. When you have that, so now you can meet, you can please someone, you know exactly. what I'm saying? But if you don't have that, you know, and you're trying to please somebody, it's going to be hard. Yeah. You know, you're going to be bound to back, bound to back. You and then know. it can cause problems in your relationship. Exactly. It's just like, um, I think Will Smith said it. Um, you know, I'm coming into a relationship happy and I want you to come into a relationship happy, happy as and well. then we'd be happy, happy together, together instead Absolutely. of like you coming with stress 
you yeah. come in with stress and then it's like stress, 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 stress. Yeah, absolutely you know? right. So, yeah. And then this life, you don't need anything to stress you because it's very uh, short. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's stressful. You, it's, yeah. it's, it's exactly. That's why anytime you get up your bed, you got to thanks to God and appreciate anything you have and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like if you get up, you know, be stressed, things like that, you're not going anywhere. You cannot do anything, be stressed. That's why I said good vibe. Yeah. Absolutely. And then be a goofy. Yeah. You know okay, what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> Let's de describe this goofy. Describe this goofy. Like, okay. One thing goofy, like uh, most people think goofy is not a good thing, but goofy is a good thing. It's a great it's thing. It's a great thing. And goofy, you know, it's okay to be goofy. Yeah. Enjoy your life. You know, be laugh. silly. Laugh. Yes. Enjoy. You know, you don't have to be serious every time. Yes. Enjoy it. Be exactly. goofy. Enjoy your life. Things like that. That's why if you see me when I'm out, everything, we bring with goofy, you know, or yes. other sign, things like that. Because you have to be goofy, you know. You don't have to be the cool guys, you know what I'm saying? Right. The guys, you know, if, no. Have fun yeah, and have enjoy. fun and enjoy it. Yeah. You know, good vibes, good energy, and that's like you know I've never seen you in a bad mood. I've never seen you be disrespectful. Thank you. I've, I've never seen you say no. No, nah, you I know, mean, like yeah. you're just a good, kind, genuine person. Like and that's a, what that's yeah, what matters. Most. Yeah, no, I get upset things like that, but sometimes I say yeah, if anything like you know if I I'm not gonna bring the good energy. You're I'd rather stay outside. home. I'm not, I'm, yeah. you know, because you don't need to bring your bad energy yeah, or, you know, bad habit. Exactly. Yeah. You don't need that. If you don't have it that day, please Absolutely. stay home and Absolutely. then take care of yourself. You know, talk to somebody and then till you f feel good. Yeah. Then come outside. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Every day you have to bring good vibe, good have energy. To. And have then, to. you know, to feed the people. That's it. Have to. Or yeah. stay your ass home. <laughs> stay your ass home, you damn right. <laughs> don't bring it to me. Don't bring it outside. Don't bring yeah. it to nobody. Just stay home and chill and just decompress. Like, everyone needs to decompress. Like, you know, whether it's time from just yeah. life, time from work, time from people. Just yeah. You just need that. Like, everyone needs to just have a chill day, a relaxed day of just chilling. Yeah. No, it's everything, you know. Take care of your body and take care of yourself. It's everything. If you know you, you don't have it, it's okay. You don't have to go outside. Right. Stay home, find what you like to do, or, you know, go somewhere by yourself. You like to hike, whatever you like to do. Right. Go do that, you know, till you feel good to yourself. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you mentioned taking care of your body. Yeah. So, so being that you're the size that you are, when you work out, is everything, like, too small? You know, like weights, dumbbells, Thanks, like, yeah. like how they need to make like mm. extra big stuff for you. Not like the, the dumbbell, the weight, all those kind of stuff is fine. But the hardest thing is like those machine you have to lay down, to use it for your leg, things like that. Oh, you, you know, yeah. those leg, like leg press, presses. leg press, yeah. all those kind of stuff. It's a little bit harder. I wish they make a little bit Extended. bigger. Yeah. yeah. But what about like biking? Biking, sometimes biking, I can adjust it a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'd rather have a little bit bigger bike too as right. well. But, you know, all those kind of stuff, kind of like, you know, I kind of used to it, but if it was a little bit bigger, I'd rather have that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But They got to make custom stuff for you. Absolutely. You got you to come out with like a collection of like just big and tall, you know, everything big and tall, clothes, machines, hats. Jewelry, everything like I'm, a I'm, big and tall brand for all like I'm, I'm, the big and tall people. I know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. You know, I've been thinking about it for a while because, but you know, you know me. I'm everywhere. I'm <laughs> yeah, moving right, left and right. You know, everywhere. it's it's kind of hard. That's why you cannot do everything. You know, at the yeah. same time, but it's definitely so funny. I just come back from London and I was telling my friends, say, I need to new clothes because you know. When it was London, everybody dressed nice and they're very fancy, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'd be wearing my jagger, you know, regular t shirt, things like that. I said, okay, this thing is not gonna go too far. So I gotta start, you know, I have to pick my games up, you know? I got a, um, I got a designer for you. She makes, oh. yeah, Alba. Her name's Alba. Shout out to Alba. Okay. Um, she, she started off making clothes for Magic Johnson. So oh, she wow. works with like athletes, you know, all around, whether it's baseball basketball like all like 
you know, different, like, let's say, say for example, baseball, you know, their mm-hmm. thighs are really big, yeah. you know, so she got to make it extra big for their <laughs> I, thighs. You're you damn know right. You're damn right. So yeah. it's like, or for you, extra long for your, you know, your legs or mm-hmm. your arms and stuff. So she, she makes Deontay's suits and stuff okay. too. And, Ma. you know, she's made him like pajamas, you know, cause he's tall too. So I it's need like, that. Yeah. So I I'll give him. you the, I'll give you the plug for her. Please, so she makes you all types of dope stuff. Please do. And you please can customize do. it and make it your own. No, please do. I, I really yeah. need, need that. Sometimes, you know, like people ask me that too all the time. Where you get your clothes? Where you get your clothes? But usually it's not that hard, you know, if you like a seven foot, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I think sometimes when you go like somewhere like a big and tall, usually you cannot find like long, you know, long pants or anything right. like that. It can be like a little baggy or those kind of stuff. But sometimes it's a little bit harder like to find like exactly like a pen can fit you well or yeah. t-shirt or but things like, like suits, that. But like suits, when you have to wear suits, you know, it's like no. you got to get it tailored, you got to customize get it. You got to get it tailored, yeah, 100%. Yeah, if they're not just making, you no. know, no, it's seven, not easy. seven, six, anything, mm. you know, like you just go to the mall and be like, all right, I'm about to find me <laughs> an outfit. It doesn't work like that. I wish yeah. it was, but you know, for me, yeah, it doesn't work like that. You and have then to too, do, like yeah. sitting, like, you know, we're sitting here, or maybe, your knees, your knees don't ever hurt on the plane like how how does that work for you but like if like a restaurant like or anywhere i go like you know if yeah, it's you end. know yeah i gotta see like the end or the edge things like that or a little bit different i mean fly same thing you know i love to sit eggs and roll you know maybe or first class you know it has to be yeah. you know one you know what i'm saying like I it has mandatory like mandatory. i have to but now i you know you see so i have to plan on that before i fly you know let's say if i'm going to new york you know i'm going to book my fly early just to make yeah. sure you know i just get what i need you know where it's almost like i feel like you can call in and say hey yeah. you know i'm tall i need this <laughs> without paying the price because it's like i know you know it's almost like you know there's people that call and be like Hey, you know, I'm in a wheelchair yeah. and I need to sit in the exit, exit row. Roll, yeah. Hey, I'm seven six. I, I need to sit in the exit row. But yeah. You know, where it's like you're not I, I don't feel that what you're naturally born with yeah. should have to cost you more money. You're That's abs- not fair. You're absolutely right. You know what I'm you're saying? You're absolutely right. But you know, I kinda used to done that maybe a long time ago. But after that I said, Okay, this thing's too much. Let me go to the online just book everything myself yeah. you know what i'm saying just live with it you know because i'd rather not deal with the pain cold waiting things like yeah. that i mean but, you're not even gonna fit like if you're sitting in an economy even yeah. even comfort plus you're not gonna fit there no really trust it's, me yeah. <laughs> like i said sometimes you, you know i was a, a flying i don't want to name the airline but you know <laughs> it was like first class be honest it wasn't comfortable uh, you know, and I end up going to sit the exit row. So you have to sit in the exit row if first class is not yeah, spacious enough. Yeah, because I went to sit the exit row. I said, I'd rather sit the exit row than this first class, yeah. you know. Whatever it's more it, space. It yeah. was more space. And then, you know, I can be stressed my leg, all yeah. this kind of stuff. And yeah, then, I think yeah. it's like mandatory. Like, I think you should be able to call into the airline and request it i was <laughs> i'm like every time and i don't i'm not paying extra because yeah. this is how i'm born like you can't you can't I, tell force someone to pay extra if they're born that way that's not fair but they don't but usually sometime like um i can book like uh, maybe you know maybe last minute fly you know went to the airport you know sometimes i see somebody's you know very nice they say okay let me see what can I do. Yeah. And they come back, they just give me the exit row. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it needs to be yeah. not let me see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Mandatory. Like, what do I you like mean? the way you go to. Yeah, I like, like it. I'm like, this is no, not what you can do. This is what you're doing. I love Because the person that's in the exit row is probably 5'5, five, 5'10, five, five, hey, 6'2. Trust me. Six, I see two that. 7'6. Like, no. Trust that's me. not. I would, I would feel like there's no way trust he's me. about to be on this plane I to see the UK, to, to anywhere. And be I, cramping. Like. Funny thing, I see that video before. Well, one time, like, I was, like, walking the exit row. I see, like, this guy, maybe 5'1", whatever, was sitting with the exit row. But 
I was like, dude, you know, but I was sitting at another exit road too. Yeah. I was just looking at this guy sitting there, you know, thinking on the press. Say, okay. And he's not thinking the way that you're thinking because his mentality is like, for example, there's people that sit in the exit row because they have to use the bathroom but, or something. Yeah. You know, like they got whatever or, or they're in a wheelchair and they have to sit in the exit row. But I feel like mandatory every time you fight, I mean, every time you fight, yeah. every time you fly. Yeah mandatory like it's like, not like a question like you need to call in when you buy your ticket like i am me. seven six i yeah, have to I not need what that. you could do no. mandatory or i'm not giving you guys my money no they like, press me i really that's crazy no it's hard that's why you know i just want to like you know get it done now early you, you know? travel so much i do yeah so you have like freaking fire miles you, you rack uh, up your miles? Yeah, I do. I have okay. a lot of miles. Yeah. You just have a lot of miles in Delta, but it's gone from <laughs> middle of nowhere. But now that's why I'm in Jet Blue. Thanks, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's been phenomenal with them. I mean, yeah. Have the, a lot as long of, as you get like an airline to like, you got to meet like, I don't know. You got to meet the owner of the airline or something. Be like, please, mandatory. Please. Tell me. I, I, like, I do need that. No, hundred yeah, percent. That would be so uncomfortable. No, like I very... remember when we went to Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah. And D was ready to go home, and there was only like three seats left, and it was um, one exit row, one first class, and one um, regular seat, like uh, a middle seat. And you guys so, fly together. Yeah, we flew together, but he, we usually sit together, and that's a uh, long flight. I know Saudi, it's gonna be. Right? Tough. That's so what I'm like, thinking. He was like, he was offering um, his. Our, his strength and conditioning coach was with us mm. and he offered him to sit um, first class so he could sit That's with it. me in the exit row but the person in the exit yeah, row didn't want to move. move so I'm like bro bruh, like you know please what I'm like, understand you yeah, know it's like, like you it's know, a comfort it's, thing yeah it's a comfort thing and it's I, like you, yeah. you're not going to be uncomfortable you're yeah. not going to be in pain you're not going to have to deal with this a yeah. week from now and this person is just like Trust you know, me, I do. Ha I do have those kind of day a couple of times too. You know, same thing too. You know, happened to me. You know, flying with my friends, same thing. You know, of course, when you fly with your friend with anybody, they want to sit with you. Yeah. And then, you know, when you're asking this guy same thing. You know, they better look at or they see you. They know exactly, you know, what you want. But yeah, you you're know, on the plane and yeah. you're like this, like you can't even just, stand straight yeah, on the plane. I've, Absolutely. And then some people, they just don't care. But some people out there understanding, right. you know, have the manner. They see it, you know, they, and they understand right away. Yeah. And thanks to them, I appreciate people like that, yeah, too. Yeah, that's a blessing, too. It, absolutely. No doubt about it. And then those people, they see you naturally and they understand, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they just give it to you, you know, because they know exactly you need it what, more than. What is, like, the worst situation you've ever been in and you're like, this is not it? Like, oh, it was one time I was flying from LAX to France, and then I was, uh, it was the last flight too. Mm -hmm. It was like some European airline, whatever. They have, they don't care. <laughs> they do not care. And the flight was full, stress me. It was the worst flight ever. So you flew a regular seat on that flight? Yes. How, what is that, like eight hours? It's, it was, uh, no, from LAX, it was like 11 hours. <gasps> yeah. 11 hours. Oh, it was 11 my hour. gosh. Trust me. It was you like a You could not sleep. I'm sure. No. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't gosh. thinking sleep at all, but I stand up there, plan, you know. And even when you're standing you're in the plane, it's like it's yeah. uncomfortable. The whole yeah. 11, oh, my gosh. Tough. It was hard. Oof. You know, that's why that thing, but it helped me a lot, you know, teaching me now. I cannot do this anymore. So, you know, next time if I book my flight, I have to make sure. So, you know your schedule way in advance. Exactly. Or if I don't know, I'm going to figure it out what kind of airline right. I'm taking first. I'm going right. to go YouTube it, Google it, look right. inside everything. What about like, what about yeah. the short flights that don't really have like a big plane and but, exit rows all the time? Yeah, know? but those things is fine. Like short flight, like let's say you're going to Vegas, Vegas from yeah. LAX to Vegas, boom, 45 minutes. Yeah. I don't mind that, you know, yeah. it's right away. Yeah. yeah, but like something like maybe from LAX to New York, usually thanks to Jet Blue, because you know, it's very comfortable. You know. JetBlue, give this man a sponsorship, <laughs> all right? 
Like yeah. we need tickets. <laughs> we need exit row, first class only. Yeah. Like, come on. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Like this is not like this is not for luxury. This is for comfort. Like yes, you know for what I'm comfort, saying? Like for comfort. Some people so alive. <laughs> yeah. Like this is like joint pain. We're talking medical now. Absolutely. Like, you know yeah. Saying? No, it, it is real. Like that is insane. I yeah. can't believe that. But thanks for the, like, you know, their flight is very comfortable, you know. That's yeah. why I'm just, okay, rock with them everywhere now, you know. It's very phenomenal, you know. But that's the rest amazing. of them, yeah, that's, that's the only flight now. I just book it and I don't have to worry about nothing. That's good. Yeah, you just be there. You're good. I yeah, can you, take you, a nap. You're going to need a, an assistant every time, like, that doesn't play no games. Hello, yeah. he need mandatory. No, no so, so I just pick up, you know, I can yell at good sometimes. Come on, I need this. That's me I'm talking, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I need this, you know, because... Yeah, like it's not a want, it's a need. Need. Like mandatory. Exactly. Like sometimes people say, I want this, I want this, but this thing... Yeah. I need it, you know what I'm saying? It's not a request, yeah. it's a it's, command. Yeah, it's like, a command. It's, You're it's, absolutely not, right, yeah. Not a request, like... This is like, I would literally say that on a, this is not a request. This is a command. Exactly. I need this like yep. mandatory. Okay. Yep. So we play this game. Would mm -hmm. you rather pick your poison for everyone that comes on? It's would you rather. So would you rather do what's on this card or this card? We're going to pick six cards. You could change your cards if you want. Do I just pick? Yeah. Mm. Are you ready? Look like it. All right. Let's see. It. All right. Would you rather fight a kangaroo with your bare hands or have no access to money for the next six weeks? <laughs> Kangaroos can fight now. <laughs> you damn right. I saw those YouTube Kangaroos, whatever. And they'd be swole. They'd be like coming over there like. Swole as hell. I fight with kangaroo. <laughs> I'm not scared. Yeah, I fight with kangaroo, hundred percent. All right, it's yeah. you. This is me. Okay. Take a punch for a Mike Tyson in <laughs> prime of boxing. Or. Or. Carry. That was not good. I don't know. Or what's the other card? Let's do it. Okay. Drink, uh, drinking only plan water for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm drinking water for the rest of my life. I'm not really? taking a punch from Mike Tyson in his prime. <laughs> That's crazy. Like Mike Tyson in his prime or yeah. drink water for or the rest of water. my life? Yeah. I'll drink water. I'll be the sober. I'll be the driver every time. <laughs> Everyone you goes anywhere. You, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not taking the punch. So you know. All right. Would you rather constantly feel like you need to pee or have a small stream of chocolate pudding constantly leaking from your ear? Oh, God. That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> so chocolate pudding just like gushing out your ear nonstop. Nonstop or, or pee. pee. The feeling of having to pee nonstop. No, no, I don't have the chocolate link in my ear. I don't want to be P9 stop. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. The chocolate pudding, just like. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have that. 100%. Yeah. I agree. Okay, have random people boo and spread at your everywhere you go. Have them boo at yeah, me? Yeah, have them boo. I go. Yeah, everywhere you go. Or. Spill it. Or spit yeah. at me? Spit at you. Everywhere I go? Yeah. Oh. I'd rather have them boo at me everywhere. I'd rather do that too. I'm so, not, if yeah. they're spitting at Spit, me, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's nasty, like, yeah. That, that's, I probably want to fight everybody. <laughs> like, why are you mm, spitting no, on no, me? That's no. so nasty. <laughs> like, I know, we really get this game, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather shed your skin every morning like a snake or never trim your fingernails again? So your fingernails is like, boom, they're growing. Or shed your skin, skin every, every morning, morning like a snake. None of them is good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do nothing. Okay. Mm, maybe let my nail 
grow. grow. And you're just going to be Guinness Book of World Records. You're going to be like, I'm, yeah. hey, Telly, and your nails is like. <laughs> yes, I might. Because, you know, my, anyway, my nails take a long time to grow, too. Oh, you know, that's, that's true. Before you get there, I might be maybe 75. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> I was gonna say if yeah. if I'm shedding my skin every morning, it might be new, fresh, nice skin. It's not ashy. It's but, you know, but the the process of having the, to like shed. Yeah, for the, for the man, and for you're me, big, yeah, so it's like, for me, no, 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 no. I think that that's a lot. You know, you and you wake <laughs> up, yeah, I would rather get up and go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you, you know, got a lot of skin to exactly, shed Exactly, yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. It's going to take me an hour, hour every morning, yeah. Girls do it all the time. We get ready for an hour. Because you say girl, <laughs> we man. Yeah, we different, yeah. All right, it's on you. Last question. Last question, okay. Always feel, always feel like you need sneeze, but you can. Oh, that's a terrible feeling. Every time I, every time I want to sneeze and I can't, I don't know. I don't know if it works, but I always like look up. It just to <laughs> make me sneeze, <laughs> but it never works because it's like an That's itchy what, feeling. Yeah, you, know it's, it's, yeah you feel it and yeah. it's not there, it's but like, like you say, hold it. You say, yeah. what do I come out? Or, but it, and then it's, it's a not weird like feeling. it's not like something you, you can just control. Yes, you know exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, you have it like yeah, you, have you want it, all, it to release. Yeah. So okay, what's the other card? The or, other card is live without music. Live without music? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Um, I hate the feeling of not being able to sneeze. Yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a music lover. I love music, too. I love music. I it helps me music. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's very therapeutic. Um, ooh, I'm probably going to have to do the sneeze. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, how often am I sneezing? I'm not sneezing all the time. Not a lot, but, but be honest, yeah. feeling of, like... Think about it, it's kind of tough, because sneeze yeah. is, is a lot of things. What would you do? I love music. I would think music. You're going to know no music ever? Yeah. For your whole life? Maybe listen to different, maybe broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the news. <laughs> yeah, watching the news or listen to some reading, things like that. But I love music, but like sneeze sometime. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, and do we have to sneeze sometime to just release things? So oh, we, we can yeah. live longer too? Yeah. You never think about that. Yeah, that is true. You know what I'm saying? I never think about, yeah. Because sometimes people can be a coma and everybody think you die or whatever and they yeah. sneeze and become live. Yeah. Where it's like that pressure needs to be released. Exactly. Out of your some, body. yeah, some pressure inside there in your yeah. body. It's kind of like a. Flipping yeah. light on. So, do you feel like sneezing is like farting then? Like, it's different. Know? No, no, no. It's different. <laughs> like I'm just saying, it's a release. Yeah, but like it's you know something. What I'm it's like toxins coming out of your body. It's it, gas that you yeah, don't need anymore. But I think sneeze is like something coming like inside, like your brain, inside body, because you know it's like just take a day and you'll know everything right away. So, your okay, brand. I get where you're coming from. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a little bit deeper than just yeah. sneeze. Yeah. It's you know a, a deeper release because it's connected to your brain. To your brain. Yeah. yeah. That makes more sense. That's what, what I'm thinking is sneeze, you know, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely when you sneeze, even when I want to sneeze, I like, I want it to come out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different, like, even with a fart. Like, you're kind of, as a woman, you're kind of, like, holding it hold in. It. Like, all right, like, I'm not about to fart because it's Women do that, yeah. You know but like, <laughs> I mean, guys but, don't. Guys, we women, don't care. We just yeah, do it. And yeah. you, you just look at us and say, what? What can you do? <laughs> you're doing it a word, you yeah, know? Well, that's yeah, that's You just kind of talk. So say, okay, yeah. why would you do that? I say, who cares? It's, and it's, it's human nature. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I mean. Like, well, guys are not going to the bathroom to go fart. That's not happening. No, like, we don't uh, care. Like, but we would take their time to get out, you know, to try to... Yeah, try to play it off. <laughs> Cause that, that's who they are, yeah, usually. Yeah. yeah, if you have a respectful woman, though. Like, you know, there's some women yeah. that are like, they don't care. Uh, yes. Like, there's some women that burp, like, you know what I'm saying? Be burp honest. and fart. I do. I, I I don't fart, but yeah. I'll burp in front of my man. But like, like burp, like sometimes I say you. 
yeah, births yeah. stink. Stink. Like they're exactly. not like it's not something cute to yeah. do. No, it's not. That's it's not, not for, sexy for, for at me. All. I just say you no. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like I've been with my man for nine years, so if yeah. I'm like I eat a lot and I burp. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, babe, I burped. But you know, it, I try okay. to like blow. All right, sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> But you it's, know what I mean? like, yeah, but like I know? said, it's not a big deal if you leave with somebody, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's not a big deal, but let, let's say, yeah, like you, like, a, like not a new, not a new person, you're just going on a date with, oh, and you're no. like, like oh, you know no. what I'm saying? That's crazy. I think it's gonna be the last that's day. insane, yeah, like, that's not, yeah. not cute, no, like, you know, not at, at all. all, like, you're not, no. But yeah. if you've been with somebody for so long, you're like, yeah. you're burping, you're farting. I think, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's not big deal. Yeah. yeah. I'm not nasty, y'all. I'm not just burping and farting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real now. It's Let's okay if you do, because, you know, everybody do that. It's like yeah. a natural thing. But it's not like, yeah. it's not like, like, it's, oh, I feel like, you know, it, it's a release, just like you said. Like, it's like, that's exactly what it is. I don't yeah. understand why we as humans created this, like, I guess stigma of like fart it's it's almost like common courtesy but why isn't it common courtesy to like all right i'm about to sneeze let me leave the room so yeah. it's not don't come out my nose you know what i'm saying like there's no common courtesy with that mm -mm. you know because you can't i guess because you don't know it's coming but sometimes yeah. you don't know when a fart is coming sometimes you don't know when a burp is coming that's it's exactly like, sorry I accidentally that's why if it happens just say sorry you, yeah, burp, you know what i'm saying yeah who's gonna if they now but to, if you're just like just nasty. Yeah. You're just if you do it like nasty, nasty yeah, me, yeah, that's like, too that's much. That's crazy. Okay, but you, you're putting some extra bullshit over there. You know what I'm saying? I call down. Yeah, calm, calm down. down. But you know, if you do it by accident, everybody yeah. can go, okay, we understand. We yeah. all do the same Don't thing. Don't eat no hot dogs and burp. Like, let's just be real. Be oh, nice. Yeah. It's like, be yeah, nice or about beer it. Or anything out yeah, there. Yeah, and then yeah. you're just like fuming everywhere with like your stinky ass burp. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with you when you're like yeah, that. Yeah, that one would be too much. You That's... can literally tell what people eat from their burps. It's disgusting. You're absolutely right. Hopefully, Nasty. it's not those. Chinese food or Mexican food <laughs> out there. <laughs> no street, yeah. no, street no street hot dogs. Food. Yeah, street hot dog. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. All right. Well, Tell yeah. everybody where they can find you, what you have going on, all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, you know, for this invitation. I appreciate, you know, I you've been you. very sweet day one we met, you know. That this is a phenomenal lady, been doing a great job. And it's been following your founders and everything you've been doing. It's been great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, if you want to follow me, I'm in Instagram. Oh, basically Instagram. I barely use my TikTok or this kind of stuff. Yeah, also, you know, been working on same thing. Foundation, supposed to be in Chicago soon, and then New York again. And then, you know, getting ready with a couple of stuff coming soon. Yeah. Just keep grinding like every day. Yeah. And Absolutely. thank you for having me. I appreciate keep it. Keep grinding. Stay humble. Positive vibes. Good energy. And stay goofy. Make sure you guys follow Mama Do on Be Instagram. Goofy. It's M-A-M-A-D-O-U. And uh, stay tuned for all the things that he has going on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, a big and tall line. <laughs> I'm going to speak it into existence and that Please is it, do it. <laughs> for Thank Telly you. Talks. Thank you. I appreciate it.